with Aditya and Michael. Thank you so much for being here with us. And they're going to chat with us about the talk that they just gave, which is accelerating time to market with Gemini Code Assist, specifically for building APIs with Apigee. So can you each give us a brief introduction of yourselves, what you do at Google, and then a little synopsis of your talk? Sure, uh, I'm Michael. I'm a product manager at uh, Apigee and I'm specifically focused on the developer experiences and how we can leverage Gemini to make those experiences for developers better. Hi, I'm Aditya. I'm a customer engineer at Google Cloud. And uh, the talk that we gave, uh, we basically introduced the value of Apigee to uh, customers who are not already aware. And uh, we showed how you can unlock the data and capabilities of your organization with APIs on Apigee. And uh, we also described how Gemini Code Assist uh, can actually assist with the building of these APIs um, rapidly. Uh, and we announced the availability of public preview. Public preview, that's so exciting. Okay, so talk to me about API development. What are some of the biggest challenges that developers face when doing this, or the bottlenecks? Yeah, sure, so first of all, you need to be aware of all the APIs that are in your organizations. Right. So before you write or design a new API, you want to make sure that you don't design something that already exists. And so that's where we have seen in the talk how API Hub uh, can help you build those APIs uh, or organize those APIs in a single place. Now, second, you actually, when you want to design an API, you need to write an open API or any other sort of standard to, to uh, define the API to the customers. Now, that's sometimes time consuming for, uh, for developers. And so they often resort just to actually write the API and implement uh, the code itself. With uh, Gemini Codes is what we have seen in the uh, talk that we just gave, is you can leverage just a simple natural prompt to build out uh, the first draft of this API. You can iterate on it in, right inside of uh, Cloud Code in your VS Code tooling where your developers already are. And then you can easily create mock servers that you can use either locally or uh, you can deploy them to, cloud, uh, to Google Cloud, where um, you can use it then to uh, collaborate with other developers in your organization to make sure that uh, the feedback is, is given before you write a single line of code. Wonderful, and I love what you mentioned about it's already in VS Code and other tools that developers already use, right? So we don't have to go anywhere else. It's in the tools we know and love. Wonderful. So um, can you explain in a little bit more detail how the AI-powered insights in Gemini Code Assist function? Yeah, sure. So first, just like uh, most generative AI that customers are already familiar with, uh, it accepts a natural language prompt and it creates useful output. In our case, it is the code that uh, defines APIs called open API specifications, and as well as the code that actually drives the APIs called API proxies, configures them on Apigee. The second uh, interesting thing is, again, uh, to stress on what Michael mentioned earlier, it's not just a standalone tool. Uh, you don't have to switch your tab or windows to some third party AI and provide all of the context uh, about what your company is doing and then ask it for something, take the output and then come back and paste it into your experience. That's You don't need to do all that because in our case, it's seamlessly integrated, integrated into Visual Studio Code, which you might be using uh, day to day, as well as the Apigee development experience in uh, Google Cloud Console. And uh, the final thing is that it is a constant companion. It's not just a one-off thing where you write one prompt, you get one output and then move on. Uh, you can actually edit the prompt and ask the AI to um, update and also ask it to make sure that the APIs that you're creating are standardized according to your enterprise. And uh, it provides that constant companionship and makes the work go fast. Yeah. I love what you said about constant companion. I agree. It's like a partner that's there with you. You back and forth, it'll help you with what you need. Yeah. So in terms of Gemini Code Assist in Apigee, what's unique about that? Right. So apart from it being integrated into the workflows, it's also fully aware of your enterprise context. Yeah. So we talked about API Hub, 
uh, which is a catalog of all your APIs that you have in your organization. Now, Gemini Code Assist is very well aware of all the individual APIs of each of the specification that are there. Uh, when it generates a new uh, API for you to use, it automatically reuses objects or security schema or metadata as appropriate for that particular use case so that uh, you don't get a generic answer. You get a very tailored uh, answer specific for your organization. So let's see, a uh, little bit of a curveball here. In 60 seconds or less, can you tell us, can you tell the folks at home here, how can you seamlessly integrate this into your developer workflow? Absolutely. So next time you want to build an API, don't just start with code. Go into Apigee, uh, start with a specification, share that specification with others, create a mock server, get feedback, and then implement the code. It will, should be much faster to build an API with a great user experience. Amazing, great job. All right, well, thank you so much for being here with us. And uh, make sure to check out the session that they had. It was recorded. We'll make sure to link it in the description. And let us know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about Gemini Code Assist? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.